All right, I have a new Substack essay out. This one is called Why Atheism is a Form of Degeneracy. Um, and uh, so now subscriptions to my uh, Substack are $5 a month, um, and I'm charging $80 per year rather than $60 because I figure that if you like my content enough to buy a whole year's uh, subscription, uh, then you probably don't mind paying a little extra. And so lately people have not been. I've been getting a lot of $80 subscriptions. So I think most people get the math. Uh, one person didn't. Um, that's okay. Uh, so yeah, why atheism is a form of degeneracy. So I'll uh, read the first few paragraphs here uh, as a preview. Atheism begins in India with the Buddha. Uh, both the soul, Atman, and the universal macro soul, Brahman, are done away with. So are all the gods. The only thing that counts is nirvana, which means to blow out, like a candle flame. The later Mahayana Buddhism, which brings the gods back as bodhisattvas, is part of India's second religiousness, which, according to Oswald Spengler, comes in during the final epoch of a society that is shifting into the period of the Caesars, or what Arnold Toynbee called the creation of a universal state. It was Spengler's great insight in the decline of the West that civilizations come into being out of deep religious piety, then cycle into a great metaphysically creative period, which he designated its culture phase proper in the arts and sciences. Then comes its enlightenment period, during which the almightiness of reason arises. Then comes the transition into its decadent, decadent megalopolitan phase, when the great world cities come into being. And finally comes the transition into the phase of the Caesars. The culture wakes up, cycles through its day, and then exhausted, goes back to sleep. It begins with religion, moves through rationalism, and ends with a second religiousness. Atheism is a product of city intellect. There is no such thing as a godless rural man. The rise of huge world cities, Rome, Berlin, New York, Paris, cut the human being off from any relationship to nature, the countryside, or the divine. Huge swarming populations stream into these hive cities from the countryside, looking for work, fun, entertainment. Coliseums and sports stadiums must be built to stimulate mere nerve excitement, the megalopolis cuts the human being off from all cosmic connections whatsoever. And it is the Socratic man who begins the process of nihilism through the creation of atheistic philosophical systems that originate within cities that then grow, spread, and carry the nihilistic thought to populations who simply live out entire lives thinking that it is true. It is not. In China, Confucius is the first Socratic man. In his Analects, he is very concerned that upholding all the proper rituals and sacrifices to the gods be maintained, yet he did not believe in the gods at all. He simply knew that rituals bring stability to society, and he was absolutely correct. All right, I'll leave it there. Uh, keep in mind, I do, um, this is about, I've read about, I'd say, about a third of the essay. So those of you who want to read the rest of it, uh, subscriptions, once again, are $5 per month, 80 per year. I also do private astrology readings. Hit me up if you're interested in one of those at johndavidebert at gmail.com. And I also do tutoring. I have a couple of students now. We're working our way through uh, individual books. Uh, Carl Schmidt's Nomos of the Earth and uh, Peter Sloterdijk's Spheres Trilogy. So if you would like private tutoring sessions, I do, of course, charge uh, for them. Hit me up at uh, my Gmail, johndavidebert at gmail.com. All right. Uh, see you on Substack.